Apple has just released iOS 16.3 for supported iPhones and in this video we are going to show you what is new in iOS 16.3. The first major change of iOS 16.3 is the fact that you can now use physical security keys with your iPhones. How do you set this up? Well you go into settings and once you are in the main page of settings you go into your Apple ID. Once you are on the Apple ID page you go into password and security. Once you are on the password and security page you have to select add security keys. Once you do that it is going to tell you that you can now use a FIDO certified security key which is a third party hardware unit which you can use against phishing and unauthorized access to your account and it is going to replace your verification codes for being sent to you for your devices when you're signing in or resetting your password now do note that they do recommend that you have two security keys because if one of them gets lost or misplaced you have a backup so you will need two security keys of course they either need to have nfc or they need to be compatible with the lightning port on your iphones the next change with iOS 16 is that the advanced data protection has now been rolled out worldwide. So how do you access this? You again go into settings, then you tap on your Apple ID and on the next page you select iCloud. And once you select iCloud, if you scroll down, you will have the option of advanced data protection. So you can enable this and of course, make sure you enable your account recovery as well. Previously, this feature was limited to US only, but now it has been rolled out worldwide. Next up, because the new iPhones have your crash detection, there have been instances wherein people have been on roller coasters and it called 911. So to avoid that situation, there have been some changes to the emergency SOS feature. So if I go into settings and then I search for emergency SOS, you will notice that it is now saying call with hold and release. Previously, it was call with hold. So to place an emergency call, you have to press and hold the side button and your volume buttons and the call will be placed when you release them so that is a change which should be helpful to the law enforcement services out there the medical teams so that unwanted calls to 911 can be avoided and you also have a toggle for call quietly and of course make sure that you have enabled call after severe crash if you want the crash detection feature on your iPhones to work without any issues. Then to celebrate the Black History Month, iOS 16.3 has added a new Unity wallpaper. Where do you find this? So you go into settings, then you go into wallpaper and then you can select add new wallpaper. Now on the next screen if you scroll down to the unity section this here is the new unity wallpaper and it literally has the text unity in it if you tap on the clock you will notice that you have a new rounded clock font as well so the third one over here this is a new font which they have added with ios 16.3 and you have different color themes available for this new unity wallpaper and if you have the iphone 14 pro or the iphone 14 pro max this wallpaper looks pretty dope with your always on display enabled now other than that they have also added support for the second generation home pod as for the bug fixes which are present in ios 16.3 if you have the iphone 14 pro and the 14 pro max and you had the issue of horizontal lines when you would unlock your device or the display would turn on for the first time after some time that issue should be fixed with this ios 16.3 update and there it is peeps that is what was new in ios 16.3 if you do find a feature which i haven't mentioned in this video do mention it in the comments below